strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... Ah! Ah! I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll uh, see there's nothing there. Mm. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... don't exist. There must be a logical explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters, and all of a sudden we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. <sighs> They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go with them? No! There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush. What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all. Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Oh, lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye. Uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Moo Moo, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh. don't do it. If you mess with the lion, don't he's do going it. to no. take revenge on oh. us. Oh. It's Alfred. He really scared all of us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs>
Why is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist. But I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. <laughs> ah! A lion! A vicious <laughs> lion is going to devour us all! <laughs> Nemo, tomorrow we can paint the tree house. What color do you want to paint it? I think brown would be a good color. All right, but we also have to make some chairs for the balcony and attach a swing to the trunk. What was that noise? I'm not sure, but it sounded like an elephant. An elephant? Let's check it out. Look, Milo, you were right. There is an elephant. She's really big and very pretty. Hello, friends. You don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh-huh. Makes sense with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant, and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this! We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born! How exciting! We could stay here and watch, and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends? When they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth, they're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> Momo! Rita! Alfred! Talalo! You have to come and see something incredible! Not now, Olga. We're sleeping. Momo, I promise you're gonna love this. What could be so important? I don't want to tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or... I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant about to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born. Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous, and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now! Everybody quiet! I just can't believe it! The baby elephant sounds just like Milo! Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. 
But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Ah, uh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas. Lucas! Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out. It's really big. Whoa, how beautiful! Welcome to the world, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to do anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we could play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're going to go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Mr. Elephant. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> 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 that was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. 